Dharasuram, Irvateshwar Temple, other structures and points of interest. There are few more points of interest within the temple that you can explore if you have the time. The most important of these is the temple of Periya Nayaki Amur, who is the consort of Lord Irvateshwar. This shrine is a little larger than the main temple and is built adjoining to it. We can clearly see the architecture of the Amman temple is slightly different than that of the main deity. This leads to a conclusion that it was only during this period that the practice of constructing Amman temples started to emerge. It soon became an essential component in South Indian temple complexes. It is said that during the time Ayatavateshwara temple was constructed, Shai Visp took a very drastic step and the worship of Lord Sarabhishwara came into existence. Lord Sarabhishwara was a mythical incarnation of Lord Shiva. Shiva took up this form to calm down the wrath of Lord Narasimha who had slayed the demon Hiran Yakashipu. Sarabhishwara has the face of a lion and the body of a bird. He had placed on his lap and the mighty Lord Narasimha in order to appease this hanger. A mantapa was specially constructed for the worship of Lord Sarabhishwara and was installed in the temple. You may go and see this mantapa. Another interesting section that you must not miss is the ancient temple inscriptions. You can find these inscriptions upon the north wall of the temple veranda. There are 108 inscriptions and they contain the name, description and image of the 63 menars or Saivacharya who were famed Savait saints. All the principal events of their lives have been meticulously listed on these walls. These inscriptions stand as a reflection of the deep roots that Saivism held in this region. There are many sculptures that are scattered throughout the temple complex that might interest you. You can find sculptures of the Devara Udhuvas who was used to sing the devotional hymns in the temple during the period of the king Raja Raja Chola. There are also sculptures representing the river goddesses like Kauri, Ganga, Yamuna, Godavari and Narmada. Usually these kinds of sculptures are not normally seen in any other temples, thus making them unique in nature. As mentioned before, Ayurvateshwara temple has been constructed with the sole purpose of Nitya Vinoda. You can visit this temple a hundred times and each time you will find yourself fascinated by something new. So take a long walk around the temple and let the harmonious confluence of art and architecture be with you in every step of the way. After all, it's not every day that one gets to visit one of the oldest and most prestigious of temples in South India. Let us now travel to our next heritage site and immerse ourselves deeper into the Chola dynasty's glorious past.